Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can summarize filtered data. So on the screen, I have some data that's got the filters on. And basically when I select an option at the top there, so let's say if I go for, take those two off and click OK, I've got some figures there, but it's, there's no summary options at the bottom. I actually have them at the top here, and you can see that it's actually picking up the the relevant total so if i just highlight this list that one says total i'll go down to the bottom you can see it's picking up the same list now if you don't have these across the bottom you can right click and you can just activate them on like so so i've just got four there now if i if i bring that back select all that one okay they all come back and these these react so you can't really do a sum function under there. So if I go equals sum on this and just highlight that range and then just press enter on that for a minute. So I get the same figure right now. And if I do count on that one equals count and highlight these so it'll tell me how many items there are. This should be 21. It's 21. Not in pounds though, but it doesn't matter for this. And then if I want to count text, I need to use the count a function. Counts text and numbers, but just for this, it's just text. I count that. Press enter on that. That'll be 21 as well. Now, if I filter any of this, watch what happens. So I'll just um, text select all off and do equal ops. They disappear and it's no longer picking it up. Now, if I just undo that for a minute, even if I do that the top here, so out of the way, so if I just do equals sum and then highlight that list, let's widen that column a little bit. I'll get the right figure, but if I do my little filter again, I'll just take one or two of these off and then click OK. That's still saying the total figure. This is still saying the total figure. This is still saying the total counts, etc. etc. Whereas this one is actually adjusting. Now, why is that happening? Because I've used a different function is the reason. Click OK to that. So let me get rid of these at the bottom now because they are not in use. What you have to use is the subtotal function. So the subtotal function works like this. Uh, I'll do it over here so it's out of the way. And that's what I've got there. You can see there I've got like a nine, which means sum. I've got a one for average, two for count, and three for count A, four for max, five per minute, etc., etc. You can go and help to see which, what the numbers are. If I just do it on this one here, equals subtotal open the bracket now it's wanting a number so if i go nine that is the the number four thumb and then i have to highlight the range that i want it to look at which is that and i'll close the bracket on that one click the tick get the same number as that and if i do a filter i'll do it on this column this time just take one of these off so it's a different number now it's reacting same as that one I highlight the figures just to double check it's the same figure down there so when you do a filter if you want to summarize anything any data you have to use the subtotal function so that was the total now the the average needs a one so that would be equals sub total open the bracket one comma and then select the same range like that or you can use the key commands. Just press enter on that one. So that's the average, which is the same as that. And then you've got count with a two and count A with the three. So subtotal, open the bracket, two, comma, and then highlight that. That's it. So I didn't type the right function there. So that's the subtotal function. And that's what you need if you want to summarize any of these like so so that's all i want to talk about in this little video how you can summarize filtered data so hopefully it's of use 
Thanks for your time. Don't forget to subscribe.